Fox Carolina follow up neighbors and city officials say the road died on Augusta Street is green in Greenville is working. Now part of Augusta Street is down from four lanes to three in a residential area there. It also puts more distance between walkers and those vehicles on it. The changes unfortunately come after Brittany Lawson and her dog were hit and killed by a driver who jumped the sidewalk there on Augusta Street almost a year ago. Fox Carolina, Zach Polonsky live off of Augusta Street tonight. Is the city done making those changes, Zach? Well, Tori, the city hopes to make some more changes in the coming months and potentially years, but what they've done so far, neighbors say, makes them feel safer walking along these sidewalks, and the city says the numbers that they have is showing that cars along this stretch are slowing down. Now being three lanes, it's plenty wide enough for the two carrying lanes and the one center turn lane. It's only been a few weeks since a one mile stretch of Augusta Street got its makeover and neighbors like Fred Jones say the results are undeniable. As far as the traffic and as far as the safety, I believe it's, it's times again how much better it is now than it was. Many agree the change is good. Others aren't sure. Just in my mind, the simple math just makes it that it's just going to be more backups, more traffic on it. At least it's how I see it. Yes, traffic is moving slower as expected, but guess what? It's moving at the speed limit, which is what we want. Greenville City Council member Dorothy Dow is helping lead the charge on Augusta Street. She says the results so far are what they envisioned. I think when you're data driven, the metrics take you to the right solution, and, and that seems to be where we are. But we have six months to look at it. The city, working with SEDOT, will continue to collect data on the road diet until the fall, and will also hold public meetings before possibly moving to the next phase. Now, city officials say they continue to make adjustments on this new setup on Augusta Street whenever needed. Most notably, they continue to tweak the timing on some of the traffic lights along this stretch. Now, coming up tonight at 11, we'll tell you what you could expect if Phase 2 is implemented and when that could happen. For now, reporting live in Greenville, Zach Perlutsky for Fox Carolina News.